Hey everybody, hello Tamerlane, and it's that time again for my usual Obscurities in Miniature. I don't know why I had to do that, but today I got a box or a package to be technical from Oathsworn Miniatures. This is another of their burrows and badgers. You can't get enough of those quaint English animal folk. Okay, screw it. It doesn't want to work. So, as always seems to be the case, we get these cool little business card holder boxes that are taped together. Oh my goodness. This is why we plan these things. You know what? I'll be back. I need to get a knife and we're going to slice these things open. So, after a bit of fumbling around, we managed to figure out how to use a knife and cut these open. So, in case you're not familiar with Oath Sworn Miniatures, I know I've talked about them before. I'm sure I'll talk about them again. Primarily, these days, they're known for two main lines that they've been putting out. They have their Heroines and Sensible Shoes, which is a line of female uh, adventuring types, player characters for various RPGs from various races, all dressed appropriately. And then they have their Burrows and Badgers line, which is what we're going to be looking at today. So, no, these are not Burrows, nor are they Badgers. We'll set those to the side there. Let's see what's in box number one. Now, I ordered a bunch of their fighters this last time around. So, I saw some pictures online of what these figures are looking like, and I am eager to see my own. And I'm even more eager to someday paint mine. So it looks like we got either it looks like a rat or a weasel with a blunderbuss. I'm guessing a highwayman or a bandit. It would probably help if I check these things out ahead of time online before I start doing these videos. But you know what? I won't and I don't care. And you're not my mom and I don't have to listen to you. So, blah. I'll put him there. And that's the man I'm looking for. Just in case if you're curious to run this stuff. For any type of various RPG outing. We have our good old Inquisitor Witch Hunter dude there. And so next up we have somebody with a bow and arrow. It looks like a shrew or something, or a squirrel possibly. It's got a big bushy tail wrapped around it. Okay, I'm gonna get a squirrel with that tail. I will put in the notes below what everything actually is, but. There's your new figure for Rangers of Shadows Deep if you need a new Ranger. All right, and oh, this is one of the freebies. I guess I opened the freebie box first. A signpost. Garoby. Dug it. Foxholes. Okay, I can read that. Duggery, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but it's a nice little piece. Probably once it's given a nice wash, we'll be able to see what it says. And there's something hidden. Oh, another baggie. Ooh, a big one. Am I going to be able to not clobber all the other figures with it? This looks like they're Highlander. They did do a Highlander, I believe. Can I get it out of the bag? Let's find out. What do we have here? Nice true Scotsman. Actually, that's a really nice sculpt. He's big. I mean, he's bigger than the Witch Hunter, even. So, yeah, check that out. So, that's my first box here. And there's more where that came from. So, we'll bust those guys out in just a sec here. Get everybody situated. So, as you can see, each of the animals has a fairly distinct size. I would be showing off some of my painted ones, but... <sighs> Truth be told, I just have not gotten around to painting any of my Oathsworn figures. I am so sorry, guys. I, that's one of my New Year's resolutions. We'll just have to get those guys painted up. We'll set them off to the side here for now. I don't know which hunter friend can hang out with them. And it is on to box number two. Let's see what's inside. More stuff. All right, well, we got another birdie to go along with the birds from the last campaign that I haven't bothered to paint yet. What's frustrating is my younger brother has gotten quite a few of these done, and I just haven't gotten around. Was this a kingfisher, I believe? I'm not sure what he was. And I'll ask my, my buddy in a... Oh, God. I don't know what the people are that study birds. My bird man upstairs. 
Mm, oh, is this the bat? We have a bat. I'm assuming the bat's a necromancer. We've got a hood of some sort and a cowl. That's about all he has. Does he have a... I was hoping he'd have a blade or something. Oh, he does. It's hard to see exactly without it being painted, but there is a blade in his hand. So I'm going to guess he's some kind of an evil figure. I'll show them all off. I'm just pulling them all out right now. Aha! That's the last one. We'll save him for the end. I believe this is the otter. Was the otter supposed to be a pirate? I don't know. Are my fingers capable of opening a Ziploc bag? That's another good question. That definitely looks like an otter. That definitely looks like a pirate. That's kind of cool. If I ever get around to playing some sort of pirate game, that'd be kind of nice for it. Set him over there to the sign. And last but certainly not least, we have the biggest of the bunch. And he was a resin figure. Now, there's been a couple resin figures in the Burrows and Badgers line. The Badger with the pipe being one of them. Looking like he's straight out of a Brian Jacques novel. And who do we have here? The Beaver. That's a pretty nice cast. I mean, I just opened this. Check that out. I mean, you know, just a little bit of flaky stuff on there, that filmy, flimsy stuff. That is a really nice quality cast. I am happy about this guy. And he's big. I mean, here, let's, let's get things a bit more in perspective here. So with a human, our beaver friend is already towering above him, and that's without a base. Um, they did include bases for everybody. I know they all have their little, you know, blob base that they're attached to. But, no, they do have regular, you know, 30 millimeter lip bases for everybody. I believe the Badger had a 40 or 50. And obviously it looks Badger. Beaver! I don't even know what they're called. But, I mean, I've really enjoyed just the sheer variety of stuff that has shown up in the Burrows and Badgers line. You've got quite a variety of mammals. Sadly, not so many reptiles. And if you know me, reptiles have always been my thing. But definitely a variety of interesting mammals, especially with a very European flair. Um, I know some people have their preferences in terms of, for example, dark sword miniatures, Critter Kingdom line. I'm not the biggest fan. I don't know why. I just feel like these sculpts are a lot more characterful. I've just never been a big fan of the Dark Sword. They're not bad miniatures in any way, shape, or form. Very nice quality sculpts. I mean, the casting jobs, I've seen them all are excellent. But something about these figures just has a bit more spark for me. So I'm a big fan, and I will happily support both Sworn's endeavors in their various lines of figures especially more so if they want to get more in the way of reptiles in there hint hint nudge nudge know what i mean know what i mean but definitely quite cool figures so some of them are going to be a little bit easier to paint than others but i think i'm finally going to just suck it up once i'm off my post-apocalyptic binge i think we're going to have to head into into beaver country i'm assuming our beaver is even indigenous to northern england or england at all i don't know I'll have to ask my, my zookeeper, my budding zookeeper upstairs, who's promptly ignoring me as he's working on a project. So uh, I will leave you guys a link below if you're curious to check out any of Oathsworn's figures. At this point, this is at least the third or fourth of the Burrows and Badgers line. Now, this is only half of it, too. There were quite a few other figures. I mean, there were a set of wizards they did. There were a set of villagers they did and oddballs in between. And I, I, like I said, this is at least the second or third one that I've backed on. I know I didn't back them all. So they've got quite a nice backlog of figures if you're interested in any kind of anthropomorphic figures for heroes. Or if you just want to do your own little red wall recreation, which I couldn't, you know, knock you for. But anyway, Oswarn's a great company. Good figures, nice quality castings, very impressive resins. And hopefully this has been somewhat informative for you. This has been High Lord Tamberlain with his usual obscurities and miniatures saying, boy, bye-bye.